Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. Today's video tutorial is going to be how to separate your audio sources for different scenes. Okay guys, uh, first off we're going to get into why would you want to do something like this. And I'm going to use my primary OBS which is right here, let me blow that up full page, to explain a little bit more of why. Uh, first thing, like when I stream I am on TeamSpeak and other audio grabbing s stuff and I don't want people hearing uh, like this, what's going on TeamSpeak and whatnot. So here's like my starting page all you see is my mic and my food bar I don't mind my muting my mic like this um, or whatnot for a stream but I, I like having music playing in the background so just say if I want to come in and let's go into my music and let's uh, right click on this what I do is I like to open with and I use food bar because uh, FUBAR here, I can actually set the output uh, audio or the output source so it's playing. I can see it playing. I can see it right here playing, but I don't hear it. Not at all. So I can have this going, my mic muted. I can be talking to whoever on TeamSpeak while my opening credits are going while, and I'm doing work setting up my scenes. Um, and to set that up was, uh, what was it, file, I had went into preferences, and where was it, was it under playback, output right here, yep, I set it right here, I set it to device virtual, uh, my VB audio cable, cable A, and I'll have links to like FUBAR and uh, the audio cable that I'm using which is almost like virtual audio cable, but I have it set up going to virtual audio cable and then I have this saying, okay, go from speakers virtual audio cable, which is uh, right here. And uh, if I click on this and go to properties, you'll see speakers VB uh, audio cable A. So though that is sending to Uh, speakers VB uh, cable A that's how it's going so I got that going and that's how that works so and once FUBAR is done the music's done then I'm all set with that like it stops playing and then I just switch scenes and of course I'll have to unmute my mic but it also comes in handy while okay just say here's my stream right here And, uh, like I have some things that, like, I'll turn on. There we go. This is for my chat, though I don't use my chat that much. I have it there. But, uh, it's... It comes in handy because I have my mic, my desktop audio, which is also for my games output, and of course my overlay because uh, this overlay right here is a movie, so it does the audio automatically. But then uh, I come to my end broadcast. Okay, I'm shutting down my broadcast, and uh, you'll see my mic and my desktop audio disappear along with my overlay, and now it's just the end broadcast. And all I did was I took my image and made a short movie put my image in the background then have whatever music i want to play for the ending right there so that is my ending it's a video but it looks like it's just an image and originally i did it in an html5 page but i found that html5 with the audio even all being local is loaded up pretty slow so i wanted to do something a little bit better so uh that's why i got rid of that so uh, here, let me uh, go back to starting soon, and uh, we'll minimize this. 
drop that down and let's open up this so let's hop right in and show you how I did this uh, first thing you're going to want to do is come over to settings and then click on audio and guarantee it's going to be something like this your desktop audio you'll have your microphone at just disable them make sure all of these say disabled once you have that click apply and click OK now you'll see that this is empty and if I go to the end, you'll see that the media source is still there, but per scene, there is no audio. Now, how do I get my mic and my desktop audio and what I want to show there? Well, you just right click, select add. Let's go with audio input. Input is going to be your mic. So we go up to this. We're going to create new and let's call this one uh, Yeti Mic. So now I know this is my Blue Daddy. And then what I want to do is default. I select device and I'm going to find my microphone, Yeti. I select that, click OK. And there we go. There's my mic. Now let's add another audio source and let's do the output. The output is going to be your speaker. So I'm going to call this desktop. Desktop audio. Click OK. And I'm going to do my speakers. Click OK. Now, if I want to have the foo bar, so what I'm going to do, since I know that is uh, set, the foo bar I have set going to device A, then what I'm going to do again is audio output capture. I'm going to create new. I'm going to call this one foo bar. Create new. And then I come up and I'm going to grab my uh, speakers, VB audio cable A. And then I click OK. Since my foobar is using mic or input studio or whatever A. So that's that's how that works. So now I have Yeti desktop foobar. By my end, I have none of those. And that's all that's to it. And each thing you have, you can set and say, okay, if I want to have my mic on this next scene. Well, I just go over, click add, go audio input, add existing. There we go. There's my mic. I click and it's already there. So that's how easy it is. It's pretty, pretty simple. So, uh, just a little fun information. Well, not really fun, but well, no. If you followed my video tutorial uh, on doing all your VST plugins, and now you're following this one to set up your mic and audio to be separate, you are going to have to redo all your VST audio inputs. So, I've already done that. But to go and do that, of course, you would go to your scene. Find your mic input, right click, properties, uh, sorry, not properties, filters. There we go. And of course, you would have to open up all these uh, and reset all these to uh, whatever you had. So I do recommend if you have these uh, to take a screenshot of your settings. So it makes it a little bit easier for you to... Uh, recreate all this and uh put it all together so um but if you're wondering about vst plugins link to the video tutorial on the vst plugins will be right below in the description along with the link to foobar and the link to the virtual audio cables the free ones they ask for a donation but you can pay like a penny you can if you think it's worth it give it a dollar give them ten dollars five dollars whatever uh every donation helps them so, uh, yeah, I hope this video tutorial helps. And if you have any further questions, feel free to uh, put something down in the comments. Uh, feel free to like this video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. You can also come by my website, headshotdomain.net, and ask any questions in the forums. And, uh, yeah, if you want to help support our projects and whatnot, feel free to stop by uh, my website, 
uh, we do do donations over there or stop on my stream which is uh, twitch.tv forward slash dreaded corpse and uh, yeah you guys take care and have a good one